Doesn't that sound amazing? Symphony, a generation of dance music, brings together some of our hottest DJs and the Auckland Symphony Orchestra for a one-off show playing the biggest dance tracks from the last 30 years. As you wait, 20 years, 30 years, as you've never seen them. To tell us more about this unlikely pairing, please welcome to the cafe DJ and the show's creator, Erica Amor, and director and head conductor of the ASO, Peter Thomas. Welcome to you both. Yes, yes. welcome, welcome. Um, so hopefully we can get through this without um, any of the chili that Mike's been cooking yeah. with getting into our throats and having a bit of so, good. Uh, so, so it's songs from the last 30 years, Erica. Yeah. Oh, that's extraordinary. And what freaks me yeah. out too is um is the fact that right here, right now, is nearly 20 years old. I know, it's crazy. It doesn't seem like it's that old. So oh, that was planned at, at, at uh, 21st. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when, uh, how did you come up with the idea? What happened? Um, we were inspired by a show that uh, was run in the UK called uh, the Radio 1 BBC Ibiza Proms. Yeah. Um, and it's such a fantastic show, we just thought we have to bring this to New Zealand. And Peter, did you think New Zealand was ready for this when you first got the phone call to be involved? Did you think this Definitely. is something that's going to work? Yeah, I was really, really amazed when I saw that video that Erica shared and I thought we would love to be involved. And it's proved to be the case. Yeah. It's going to be really good. So what happens? Yeah. So you just go directly to Peter and say, hey, I've got this amazing idea, let's do this. Yeah, I mean, having never done something like this before, I wasn't really sure how it was supposed to work. So uh, Peter got the call from me and, yeah. Well, it obviously worked, didn't it? Yeah. Cut out all the middlemen and just sort yeah. of work with yeah. the people that are involved. Well, the orchestra and I try and do lots of collaborations and, and a variety of styles. And this, this is something new for the country and new for us. And I thought, yes, we must be involved, yeah. And yeah. how hard is it as a conductor to keep Ooh. it all together? Oh, look, it can be quite challenging. Are you talking about my personal life? or <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't jest. Um, um, to be fair, just bringing the full orchestra, 80 people, plus the choir, and linking in with the DJ, it can at times be quite quite challenging, but it's it's coming together really well. Wow. We're really excited for Saturday night. Yeah. So I know that obviously some of the songs you're keeping secret, but you can't yeah. talk about because you want it to be a big surprise, but there's a, a couple that you've mentioned are being played, Erica. Yeah, so... Um, Fat Boy Slim right here, right now, and um, we can confirm that'll be played. Uh, Robert Miles' Children. Oh, that's a great song. Mm. Such a good track. Um, and also Delirium Silence. Oh, also mm. a great track. And are they tracks, Erica, that you, you can hear an orchestra in them when you, you know, visualise them, or are they songs that you've chosen specifically? Uh, I think when, like, when we're listening to those tracks, uh, you can definitely hear where the orchestra right, can fit yeah. in to the yeah. track. Yeah. Children and definitely right here, right now, we can yeah. hear it then. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Peter, did you know all the tracks? That no, have I've learned quite a lot about uh, dance <laughs> music, to be fair. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but yeah. um, we've worked really closely together and also with a wonderful orchestrator and arranger, a guy called Ryan Ewans, who's worked to make the orchestral parts come alive. And uh, look, it was surprising. When I saw the track list originally, I thought, oh, what's going on here? But then when I heard them, I thought, oh, I know a lot it of those. Sense, I did yeah. know a lot of those. Yeah. And, and linking with the orchestra, it's very exciting. Cool. There's a new sort of level of, of sound and, and musicality. Yeah. And it's a great experience for the orchestra and the choir, how have they found the experience? Oh, the orchestra's loved it. They've just been, we've actually had um, requests from other people to come and join and play and things, and I've just had to say, look, we're, we're chocker. chocker. Um, this is a big gig for us and uh, we can't wait, yeah. Yeah, because you're going to have to be careful, you're going to get them all coming in now. Uh, so mm. you've got DJ General Lee, he is mixing at the same time, so how does that actually work? Yes. So uh, for some of the tracks, there are such distinctive electronic elements um, that we had to have a DJ as part of the show. Uh, to mix those elements, so, so he, he's mixing with the orchestra. Yep, absolutely. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. And, uh, you, you know, you, you're one of the country's hottest DJs, but have you had any <laughs> classical music experience? Many, many years ago, um, my dad was a concert pianist, so I've classically trained for about ten years. Really? Right. Oh, just just a couple of ten years. <laughs> um, and do you think that actually helps the, your DJ stuff? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, cool. for sure. How does it do that? Um, just based counting a beat. I mean, that's a massive help, so, yeah, and knowing um, transitions and tracks and, yeah. Well, it's the thing, when you, when you hear DJs, you think, oh, yeah, that's pretty easy, I could do it, but I've actually had to go on some ta turntables, mm. and it's really difficult to get everything sort of, you know, worked in. It's <laughs> it takes not, a bit of practice. It's not easy, it's not easy. <laughs> well, I guess a DJ is kind of, you know, a conductor in a funny sort of way, so, mm. Pete, have you yeah. jumped on the, the deck sheet? No, How do no, we go? No, I, I've got my work cut out for me, just <laughs> linking in with it, but um, it's, it's funny <laughs> so, you say that, that about DJs, anybody can have a go, it's what they say about conducting as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I agree, wave your hand. And I'm here to yeah. prove it, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's not that simple, is it? So after the show, the party kicks on. Yeah. After the orchestra's mm, finished, they yeah. can put their instruments away, then get on the dance floor. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so what's and, happening afterwards? Uh, so we've got two <coughs> DJ sets um, from most, most notable DJs, um, Greg Churchill and Bevan Keys. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. The party and, will continue. You know, and well, good, and you know, of course, supported by George FM, one of our faves. Yeah. And uh, you, you're a, you're head of music at Epson Girls, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah. this, they must be thinking you're pretty cool hanging out with all these DJs. Oh, I keep, I, I try and keep some of my um, other activities quite separate. Although, to be fair, um, we had um, the, the girls at school got wind of some of these tracks and things, and um, really excited, excited about it. Yeah, nice. So, yeah. But it is, it's a restricted age event. So yeah, not 18, so right. you better not they're be seeing your students here. <laughs> Yeah. That's for certain. Yeah. He'll spot you. He'll spot you, girls. And Erica, you didn't yeah. want to perform yourself? Uh, I've been DJing for about six years now, and it seemed only right that uh, some of the DJs who had played these tracks originally in clubs when they came out were the ones to perform them on the night. Uh, that's perfect. Yeah. And, you know, th this is a beautiful collaboration. And what I like r over the last couple of years is this August just doing movie soundtracks mm. live. There's a lot yeah. of this going on. Because it is so successful, mm. can we do another one soon? And Because you've sold mm. this one out. <laughs> Anything else in the pipeline, Erica? Uh, we've got a few ideas. Let's yeah. see how tomorrow goes. <laughs> and spread it out around the country? Potentially, yeah. Okay, and what about you? Would you be keen to do yeah, more of this? Yeah, we'd be very keen. Right. Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. It's sorted. It's nice. done already. It's done. It's um, and just quickly, I want to know, there was a, um, a Symphony People's Choice competition. Uh, which song came out on top of that one? So that was Delirium Silence. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough, too. Good song. Great track. What a tune. Yeah. What a great collaboration. I'm really excited about it. It's a shame it's sold out, otherwise I'll come along. But anyway, hint, hint. Oh, there'll be more. <laughs> there will be more. Thank there you so much, guys. There will be more. Thank you. Symphony, a generation of music, it's what we grew up on, is on this Saturday at the Town Hall. But, yeah, as we mentioned, mm. sold out. So good times if you're going. Good Otherwise, on, yeah. hopefully you and I and Mike will be there for another show sometime soon. I think there's a few people from the cafe who've got tickets already. Well done.